welcome back we will be doing the new requirement today so this is to disable add item when the actual number of uh, rows you have added into the page list property so how do you disable the add item in your table layout that is what we are going to discuss so it's already it's already configured so let me show you the result so let me create the case so I am mentioning how many customers you want to add into your table layout and uh, um, let's make it as 4 so create it so now this is our add item and delete item so here you will be adding customers over here right so let me add 1 2 3 4 if you see 4 items after 4 items you cannot add another item over here then what happens if I delete one of them so whenever I delete one of them again I add item will get uh, enabled so let me delete yes you can add again it got deleted uh, sorry disabled right yes so how to achieve this so basically this add item whatever I am showing you here this particular thing is a section Default, that is OTB section oh, that is called as PZ Pega default grid icons where you cannot save as this into your uh, rule set okay because this is final then what you have to do you have to mimic this so whatever you added here whatever the add item and delete item over here it is there so you create your own section for that so uh, for that I added one section um, that is add and delete so I just uh, did whatever it is there in that into this okay so on the add item here when I select this so you know it right so how do I add you will add it add item one link it is a link and in that you have to click on actions under actions you have to select all actions and add item over here and after that every time it should be refreshed so in this add item we have to see that so in this we have to we want to disable it right so to disable we I'm going to write a when rule can when rule over here on this condition for disabling I have written customer count so I need to count the page number of customers added so for this we have written a when rule so let's open this when rule so in this when rule uh, under advanced okay under advanced select this function here there are browser functions in your um, when rule so when you click on this it will show you the uh, functions you have something called as length of a page list uh, is compared to a particular value right so I we mentioned this customer page list property and equal to how many customers I am writing that in the uh, previous screen so saying that whether it is four or three like that so and save it right coming back to this save this and uh, submit similar to that you can do it for your delete item so but for this uh, there is no disable option so instead you can have to write only just refresh this section so that it refreshes and checks the page list of the uh, length of the page list of the customer right and you have to do similar to this links also to this link also I didn't do for now okay so I'll tell you what happens if I don't do this okay so for this also you have to do what you have to go to the actions in the actions you have to click on create action set add an event click and add an action you have to add an action as add item over here and as well as refresh this section so it should be similar to what you are doing for the add item also and in here also in the disable you have to write the same condition when rule um, customer count okay so if I don't do this what happens so I didn't do that uh, if you check here for now I didn't do anything see there is no disable and no nothing right so let's see what happens so now whatever the section you created add delete section this you have to include into your uh, the table layout where it is so this is where I want to add so how do I add a section over here you can go to structural in this you have embedded section so add like this so when you add like this and click on the settings icon here it will ask you which section you want to add so in this way you can add the section okay so that is what I did for here on this so if you click on this you can see section over there yes right so now let's create it
right first one second one so I add five customers third one fourth one fifth one done see fifth one it is but see here it is still it is uh, enabled only okay so this also should get disabled so to do that what I have to do I have to go to this particular uh, section and click on this do the same thing action create action set add an event click click on click add an action to add one item and also refresh this section and come into general you have to disable it on based on condition same condition what did you add there submit save now let's uh, now let's see okay this is the previous one now let's see create another case so here I will say to create so add item so even if I click on place also it will add see now both are disabled because two items are already done and if I delete it both will be getting enabled so this is how you disable add item in your table layout thank you